What's going on, guys? Zephanix here. So I want to go ahead and talk about Steven Universe. Now, I don't really get to talk about Steven Universe a lot or at all. Uh, but I gotta say, uh, I just saw a episode and I'm just blown away by it. Uh, it's funny because it actually puts together one particular part of a piece of, of a puzzle, uh, that we've all, of an answer that we all knew, but we didn't know that one piece and that one piece fits it all together. And that is the realization that it was Pearl who killed Pink Diamond. Now, I, uh, for the record, I know there's a spoiler. If you are, um, if that's a spoiler for you, then you may want to go ahead and, uh, stop this video and watch the episode of Steven Universe, uh, when it comes out and come back and we can discuss it. Uh, but basically that's your warning. So, uh, check it out, right? So, yeah, what happened was, is, uh, Lapis went to the moon, um, Lapis went to the moon and Steven found her and followed her and, uh, why he was up there, he had a dream and a premonition, um, of, uh, Steve, of, uh, Pink Diamond having a conversation with the other diamonds and stating that, um, he was, uh, she was having so much trouble with it and all that. And finally, a premonition of Pearl actually taking out Pink Diamond with Pearl's saber. Um, I'm sorry, with, uh, with, uh, uh, Rose Quartz saber. So what is the situation? And that's great because this is the one bridge. This is the one thing that we couldn't figure out. And now we figured it out. Now that we've told us everything falls into place. It's something that we've always known for so long. And this is the official time that we actually get to know this. And that is Pink Diamond is Rose Quartz. And it makes so much sense. And we all knew this. Uh, for those who watch it, like we all knew this, but it was that one, this one piece, that pink diamond is rose quartz. That's the part that we didn't know. And that's the part that bridges everything together because uh, with that, now we know whose pearl pearl was, you know, now that we know that, you know, so everything was falling into place after that one little piece came into play. But every, everyone else actually knew of the situation. Actually, if you look at the rose quartz uh, gem, you'll notice that it does look like a diamond from the top down. And a lot of people have suspected that that is the case. So check it out, right? So the story goes like this. Uh, basically, um, Pink Diamond has started to fall in love with the earth and she's really starting to enjoy it. And she started falling in love with a lot of different people and, you know, stuff like that, you know, from a lover's perspective as well as just a friendship perspective. And uh, so what happened is, is that she started concocting this elaborate story about this. Uh, well, what happened is that she couldn't leave the actual... Um, you know, she couldn't leave her place. Obviously, she couldn't. You know, what would it look like to have a, a diamond fraternizing with the little colonists of Earth? You know, they're, they're ants. You can't, you know, people look at you funny when you start playing with ants, you know? So, <laughs> true. So, uh, what happened was is she um, transformed herself into um, Rose Quartz. Now, she transformed herself very similar to the way that all gems can go ahead and change their form to look like someone else. So, it makes sense. So she went ahead and transferred herself into a rose quartz and she started going using the persona of rose quartz to go ahead and um to and kind of enjoy earth life. And um the only one who actually knew this, and it doesn't tell exactly how she knew this or what happened to the point where when she found out, but the only person who knew this was Pearl. Now keep in mind, um if you guys remember back in the uh rich uh episode prior, remember when Pearl flipped out and was like she told me everything and stuff like that. Remember all that? And um yeah, that would answer it. It also answers the reason why every time Pearl would talk up something about the past, Pearl would literally grab her own mouth as if something was literally stopping her from saying. Now, once again, uh, give a shout out to Crystal Clear because um, the um, the show Crystal Clear because they have told uh, they have said that, and that was an order from Pink Diamond to do that. And keep in mind, the way she did it shows that the orders from Pink Diamond is actually a lot more than just simple words. Nope, they're an actual, almost an incantation of what to do. So that that is pretty interesting. So, um, okay. So what happened was, is in order to go ahead and be free of the colony because of what uh, the diamond said, as long as Pink Diamond exists, the colony will thrive. So in order for her to go ahead and do that, she had to go ahead and fake her own death. So she would decided to go ahead and fake her own death as Pink Diamond and live forever as uh, Rose Quartz. Now, this is that particular storyline part of this. Nothing is new about that. Uh, we've seen people do that all the time in different shows. In fact, um... I've seen it like a dozen times, and uh, especially in Japanese shows, I've seen it a dozen times. But um, 
So what happened was is Pink Diamond went reverted to her form as um well Pink Diamond and then um Pearl reverted to the form of Rose Quartz and Rose and as Rose Quartz she went ahead and attacked Pink Diamond. Now she didn't shatter Pink Diamond, she simply just kept the diamond safe. So she kept the diamond safe. Um and of course when she left um and they found a safe spot she went ahead and reverted to uh she changed her form fully to the default form because you know like the gems can change your form so i'm guessing she changed her form and kept the default form of rose quartz as close to rose quartz as possible now there are a couple of things that i did see that was like a little wrong with the episode but whatever's whatever uh point is is that um that is in fact the rose quartz so that's the story of rose quartz so Stephen is actually a diamond. He's not just a rose quartz a soldier, but he's a diamond. Very interesting. And judging from the what uh, response that Amethyst had, nobody knows except Pearl and now Stephen, of course, now the Crystal Gems. Um, immediates only. So that's that's a very interesting situation. Stephen Universe has a tendency of uh of um, ant, uh, up in the ante with every season. And this one is definitely something that is definitely up the ante. Uh, we really need to see more Steven Universe. Uh, Rebecca Sugar does uh, a lot of her uh, animation old school. And um, because of that, that's the reason why it takes so long for us to get an episode and things of that, um, that nature. And uh, I got to say, that is an absolute amazing part of the story i really did enjoy hearing that even though a lot of us kind of assumed that that was the case uh you know we assumed that um maybe it was pearl who took out pink diamond uh maybe pink diamond and rose quartz had a little something something in common that we really anticipated and you know and we always took a guess at gander at different things and this is definitely something that we've all was like you know what there's a good possibility that this could be the case and it was very interesting. I need to cut my hair. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, um, so what do you guys think? Steven Universe is a diamond. That that has been revealed and everyone is like, what? And all that. Comment section below. You guys have a good night. Is that found?